If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to answer the question first before listening on. In order to understand how to answer this question, we're going to begin with the following concept. Whenever we have a force plotted on the y-axis and the position plotted on the x-axis, then the work done on the object is going to equal the area underneath the curve from the initial position to the final position. And furthermore, when that area is above the x-axis, then the work is considered to be positive work. And if the area is underneath the x-axis, as it would be in this case, then the work done on the object is considered to be negative. So if we go over to our graphs in the choices, we can see that in the first graph, we have some area that is located above the x-axis, and so that will represent positive work. But then we have area located beneath the x-axis, and that will be considered negative work. Now we can see in this case that the area above the x-axis and the area below the x-axis are equal. And so the positive work and the negative work will actually cancel each other out, leaving us with an overall work of zero joules for the first graph. In the second graph, we have area above the x-axis, and therefore the work will be positive. And then we have a little bit of area beneath the x-axis representing negative work. Since the amount of area above the x-axis is more than the area beneath, then the work is overall going to have a positive value. So we can say that the work is greater than zero joules. Moving on to the third graph, we have positive work right here, and then negative work here. And hopefully we can see that the negative work is greater in magnitude than the positive work, and therefore the work will overall be negative. We can say it's less than zero joules. And finally, in the last graph, we have a large magnitude here of negative work, and then just a sliver of positive work right here. And so in this case, the work is also negative, but it's going to be even more negative than the situation in graph C. So we can actually say the work done is much less than zero joules. And now we would be ready to rank the graphs from the most positive work to the most negative work. The most positive work would be graph B, followed by graph A, and then graph C moves into negative work and graph D also is negative work, but it was even more negative than graph C. So this would be the correct order and the answer to the question. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, click the thumbs up icon and subscribe to the channel. You can send in your own question to the email address on the screen, and I'll do my best to post an answer to it on YouTube.